hello guys welcome to another video in this video we are going to learn about uh, different uh, types of uh, di uh, dissimilarities between uh, budding grafting budding layering grafting cutting etc so let's get started um, here you can see the uh, difference between uh, budding and grafting uh, um, um, uh, dependent on scion uh, we can uh, um, we can uh, identify the budding and grafting such as in budding a small bud is uh, used as a scion and in grafting part of a stem or branch is used as the scion then fruit tree production here you can see that budding is more commonly used for fruit tree production than that of grafting then expertise in handling budding requires less expertise in handling than grafting then time budding is less time consuming than grafting then size of scion budding needs smaller scion when compared to the grafting then success rate the highest success of grafting or budding can be achieved by grafting closely related to species and clones. Then limits. Uh, Monocotyledons plants cannot be grafted as they do not possess cambium. Then trees. Commonly used uh, fruit trees for budding uh, peach, apple, palms, cherry, citrus. Commonly used fruit uh, uh, in grafting such as uh, uh, pears, avocado, etc. So these are the difference, uh, differences between uh, budding and grafting. Then here are some differences between grafting and layering. Uh, on the basis of function, uh, grafting is useful to get more varieties from a single plant and layering only results in one type of offspring then uh, uses grafting is considered as a highly feasible method in horticulture field layering is considered as a less useful technique when compared to grafting method then results in grafting method we can get highly desirable characters from parent stock plant to different scions then in layering method we can get same characteristics from parent to offspring then resistance the plants obtained from grafting method are more resistant to disease pests and droughts the plants obtained from layering method don't have more resistance but the immunity continues without any change through the generations examples uh, such as grafting plants like mango lemon oranges apple and then layering plants like rose jasmine produced more by layering method so these are the uh, uh, differences between grafting and layering then uh, uh, here you can see the difference between layering and cutting layering is performed on only branches of the plant plant then cutting can be accomplished with by using branches leaves and roots plant parts are kept attached to the mother plant till the root formation take place plant parts are the first detached from mother plant and are them induced to produce roots layers are produced on the spot only and very few layers can be produced from plant on the other hand cutting can be taken easily from the plant and can be carried to long distance more number of cutting can be prepared from a plant it is uh, com uh, cumbersome and difficult requires techniques it is very easy and uh, common simple methods mm. uh, those plants are difficult to root uh, can be propagated by layer uh, layering but um, uh, those plants are easier to root and uh, are propagated by cutting so this these are the difference between layering and cutting that's all for today see you in the next video thanks for watching